Hey, this is a YouTube video really in regard to feel free. Hi, feel free. She's, uh, she's, she, he, it. <laughs> I don't do she or he thing very well. Don't read it. Don't really care. So, anyway, they were asking questions about religion and going to church and all that stuff. And I'm sure I've said stuff like this on my previous videos. But I'm going to touch on it again, well, because I want to, and it's my channel, and I can do whatever I want. <laughs> but let's talk a little bit about the religions. Well, I would say about, what, 100 years ago? In the process of fractaling down to the lowest vibes, I know you guys look at the Middle Ages, and before that, and you think, oh, well, they were in the lower vibes. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. They thought they were, when they were sad and... And certainly they tried. It was it was an attempt to get to the lower vibes with things like uh, massive, um, let's see, that big difference between people who didn't have money and people that did have money. Uh, that was an attempt to get to the lowest vibes. Also, the um, massive plagues, that was an attempt to get to the lowest vibes, but it didn't really work. So what happened was the next creationary attempt was uh, what you consider civilization. And basically what happened is uh, a lot of new toys were brought in. Uh, there's an ability in the United States where everyone wants to come here that uh, just a regular person can become very, very wealthy. That you have the opportunity that it's no longer based on class. It's based on, uh, supposedly, it's based on how hard you work. Uh, it really has a lot to do with vibration and luck, but it will look like it has a lot to do with luck. I mean, work. So the saying is, if you come to the United States and you work hard, you can have all your dreams come true, which you certainly can. Or it also doesn't work. But the point here is that what happened was because those other things didn't, really lead to the lowest vibration, something else was tried. And so they created this civilization. Now we've had high-end civilizations on the planet before, or they have, since I wasn't here, uh, were very high, that with very, very high technology, where really it, it looked very much more like 5D, that you really didn't have to work, and what you did work was uh, stuff you loved, but that didn't get anybody to the lower vibrations. It certainly um, got closer, because there ended up being a power struggle on all of those civilizations. In each civilization that was created, those giant ones, you would probably uh, know Atlantia and uh, Lemuria, Mu. Uh, that was the last ones that were big. There were five before that, I think, five or six before that, but they didn't really do the job, and the job was to try to get as low as possible. But what they did find eventually is if you create a civilization where anybody can have uh, the chance to get to the top, and there are people who tr struggle to do that and can't get there, that the depression that they feel, the fear that they feel can be created that will lead to very low vibrations. Whereas a hundred years ago, if you were born in the wrong class, you just didn't have access to it. So you just accepted it. That's what humans do. They just success they just accept it and carry on. So the rich stayed rich, the poor were used to being poor. They didn't really feel um that deep deep depression that you can feel here because they were raised that way. It was what they expected. So there had to be a way of getting out of that. So that's why this civilization was created, especially effective in America. Because in, in the United States, it was just from the get-go that anybody can become super rich and super powerful if you just work hard enough. So because there was that option, if you don't get there, there is a deep, deep depression that goes along with that. So they were successful at getting the lowest vibrations by far in the United States. United States has been, Earth was phenomenal, but the United States has been the success point.
at reaching the lowest vibes. And then that kind of thinking went out to the world. And, and it was able to be accessed by beings all over the planet because it was created here in the United States. So that's how recent the lowest physical vibes have been created. But we're creative gods, so we don't really hang around long. Uh, now that we've got it, figured out how to do it, we move on to the next thing. It moves relatively fast. I know 100 years doesn't seem like fast, but it really is in the big picture. Okay, so back to religions. Religions were very important in this process, especially when it began, because you had to get rid of anybody who could. They realized that you had to disconnect from the earth, that they they were unable to reach the lowest vibrations in 3D as long as people had access to the earth, because uh, anything that you connected to Gaia it would just fix you. So uh, if you were uh, super poor, if you went to, if you were a druid or a witch, or if you went to, or a shaman or a, a, a witch doctor, if you went to any of those beings that they could connect you to the earth, and it didn't matter what you had to experience as a human, you would have relief. So you wouldn't go down to those lower vibes. So they had to disconnect from that. The way they did that was the monotheistic religions. Bingo. They stepped those in and they just pretty much ran over and destroyed any of the earth magic people. Okay? So, uh, are the earth magic people correct? Absolutely they're correct. Absolutely they're correct. You can tell how, how close they are to being the truth by how much they're annihilated and put down by the, the monotheistic religions. Okay, so the monotheistic religions came in and destroyed the earth magic people. Uh, all the way around the world, they've destroyed them. They've done everything they could to destroy them because that connection to the planet had to be um, got rid of in order to for humans to experience the lowest vibrations of 3D. Otherwise, you couldn't do it. Okay, so um, enter the religions. That's why the religions will have, all of the religions, the Bible, all those religions, will have a layer of truth in them be, that will draw people in. Their memories of what really is. Their memories of, of the truth. And then, once they got you hooked with that little line of truth, then they'll just keep reeling you in into the fear category. And then they're going to convince you that if you don't do this, and if you don't do that, then you're going to go to hell or you're going to go to someplace destructive and you get very, very fearful of that. And that was one of the ways to get 3D. So, United States civilization can't obtain. Monotheistic religions, fear-based, really did an awesome job of getting people into deep despair. Um, and they're really good at, okay, if you do this, you're going to go to hell, but we'll help you out of it. And then they'll help you out of it and then get you back into the deepest despair and then help you out of it and just repeat, repeat, repeat. And that would get you lower and lower and lower. That was really, really good job of getting people in the lower 3D vibes as well. All of these things were done together and that's how 3D Earth was created. It took a lot of work, a lot of thinking, a lot of amazing uh, entities were involved in this. Of course, it was also done in education. All of the main things, politics, education, you name it, all the major areas were involved in getting people to a desperate st desperate state in order to reach those lower vibrations. Now, if you want to get out and go to 5D, then you've got to disconnect from all of those. I'm sorry, but uh, they're the ones that created it. If you don't stop playing their games, you are going to stay in 3D. So you have to disconnect or you have to choose if you're good enough to go to church every day and go to a church that they are teaching just the truth parts of the Bible, then go to that church. Wonderful. But if you're going to a church where there is any at all fear-based teaching, get out if you want to go to 5D. Just get out. Sorry, but get out. If you're involved in the money system and it's all anybody can do this and it's positive and you know how to play the game, then stay in. But if it's fear-based in any way, get out. Just get out. Do it a different way. Some other way. Any way you can figure out how to survive. But 
or don't think about it or don't just, you know, just don't be involved in the fear game. Okay. Any of these systems, if you're into politics, if you can go into politics and ignore all of the rest of them and, and build it on a higher vibration that's not based on fear and threats and anger, then jump right in there and correct it and go to something else. But if you do get in any of the lower vibrations, uh, it's going to interrupt your 5D path. Okay? And that's the way it is. And you've got to do that day to day. You've got to do that with moment to moment with the people that you're interacting with moment to moment. And you also have to do that with the big picture things. Just to let y'all know, anything that you sign, including anything that's clicked on um, on your phone that you agree to, any contract that you have your signature to, your energy, you have said, okay, I agree to part of my energy going to this. They've got your energy. Okay? you got to get rid of all those contracts, either that or in your mind. You've got to be able to truthfully, honestly, believing it, say, ah, take my energy away from that. Social security cards, driver's licenses, you name it. You name it. Uh, as far as, I'm going to go into uh, the conspiracy theories. Yeah, they're all, they're all true. They're all true. So what? So what? They were necessary in order to create the lower vibrations, 3D planet Earth, that that was what the game was for. And the game will continue. The game will continue. Much was learned about those lower vibrations and how to create them, how to experience them. So what? It does not matter now that you know that you're creator God, you know that all of this was created to go to the lower 3D vibrations. So what? So what? You just don't play the game. If you don't want to play the game anymore, don't play the game anymore. If anything that you're interacting with causes fear, uh, you need to stop doing it. Fear is the basis of 3D. As long as you're in worry and fear, anything that creates fear, then you are heading the wrong way. You cannot have any fear at all. You've got to go through your day moment to moment and get rid of anything that causes you fear. The next step is to get rid of anything that causes you anger. Now, if you're not judging and if you're not attached to anything, then I don't care gets to be the main focus of your day. <laughs> if you know that you're a creator God and they're a creator God and everything is fine and everything is wonderful, then you can look around at any of the alien, government, education, food, etc., 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 conspiracies and go, cool game, enjoy, I'm leaving. I don't care. It's none of my business. Those are other creator gods. It has nothing to do with me. Have fun. Enjoy yourselves. Been there, done that, not interested. Bye. That's it. That's all you got to do. Don't make this harder than it needs to be. That is what makes it difficult, guys. It's really super easy. I tell you it's difficult only because I know you're going to make it difficult. I know you are. <clears throat> you don't have to. Super easy. All you got to do believe is, is, is believe that it is easy and, and it's done because you're a God. But you're also a God believing that it's not easy. And that's what makes it tough. That's why I do the videos to try to talk you into it. Why? Because in order, the star seeds that dealt with the lowest vibrations possible, they are the toughest, most stubborn entities on this planet because it was a tough job. So to get you guys out of it <clears throat> is a tough thing to do because you're stubborn, flat out stubborn. So trying to tell you to do it another way whenever you're so stubborn and it took you it's so long to stay in that lower vibrations to get the job done, it's tough on me, it's tough on you. But the day you get over it, the day you know that you're a god, the day you know that there are infinite timelines with a whole bunch of gods playing a whole bunch of different stories, then you you begin to choose. And you choose to go to a different timeline with a different collective consciousness, but you can war against the ones that you're with all day long. <clears throat> you're not going to change them. You don't have the right to. If they want to play in the lower vibrations, that's their business. It's none of your business. They will stay and, and play in the lower vibrations. Victim, victimizer, it doesn't matter. Yeah, continue to play. 
the earth has its goals and you can continue to fight it I guarantee you I am trying to make the life that you have left on this planet easier is what I'm here to do but ultimately if you don't want to if you want to continue the fight with those entities you continue the fight you'll do it until you die when you die you'll go home no harm no foul I just tried to save you some pain and agony while you're here because I know how bad it is <laughs> I know how much it hurts and there is another way like I said it's an easy way but you'll make it hard everybody does all the star seeds that have been extremely traumatized always do always do they'll make it hard until they just make get that moment that aha moment and they go oh wait a minute click and they do it easy and then they keep doing it easy and easy and then they get out then you can look back and go yeah it was hard because I made it hard it's only hard because you make it hard it's not ultimately hard it was really hard for me it took years and years I died in 2008. I came back with everything and I still made it hard. <laughs> I'm just trying to get it so you guys don't have to do what I did. That's all. That's all. Okay, this is long enough. I'm going to get it up on YouTube. Thank you. Feel free. Is that what it is? For your comments. Uh, remember, guys, that I'm like Google. I've got a lot of information, but it takes questions to get me to home in on on certain things to get the answers to you so that's how I do the videos on YouTube so I appreciate all your love and support I do I love you guys bunches but I'm really wanting to know what you guys need answers for to help you on your path what can I do to tell you to help you okay so uh, comment below come over to my website alright and I talked to Jeremy I think he's gonna do an intro for me isn't that cool or intro and an outro outgoing I don't know anyway he's a genius with that stuff he says it's easy but it's always easy when you know what you're doing right <laughs> it's easy for me now to live moment to moment and it will be for you too okay <laughs> huge hugs love you but bunches and bunches and I'll talk to you later